A woman is still in the hospital this afternoon after a police shooting on Indy's north side. It's the second shooting involving an IMPD officer in less than a week. And so far this year, IMPD officers have been involved in 12 different shootings, including three that were deadly. It is our top story first at four. Good afternoon to you. I'm Daniel Miller. And I'm Beershell Edmay. Fox 59's Jesse Wells takes us to the scene of the most recent case and explains how this reflects a dangerous trend. Numbers released by IMPD show non-fatal officer-involved shootings, including one right here last night, have gone up this year compared to the last couple of years. But some in law enforcement say there is a logical reason for that increase. Chasing a suspect who fired a shot in the air along West Washington. An IMPD officer shot and wounded a man in January marking the first of 12 police action shootings involving IMPD so far this year. The most recent took place Wednesday night on the north side near 79th and Harcourt Road where police confronted a woman identified by court records as Jasmine Bramey who was suspected of a recent shooting and had two active warrants for her arrest. While trying to arrest the wanted woman, police shot her but say this handgun was found on the wounded suspect. It's exactly what we've warned of for two years, that violence is continuing to surge. In fact, those cases are among the nine non-fatal officer-involved shootings this year, along with three others that turned deadly. Those numbers are higher than both 2019 and 2020. The vitriol and the violence perpetrated toward the officers is absolutely increasing. The shooting Wednesday night took place less than a week after police shot and killed another woman they say was armed with a handgun on Eugene Street. Still, Indy FOP President Rick Snyder believes the increase in police shootings reflects an overall increase in violence. The officers are placing themselves at risk. They are standing between the violent perpetrators and the innocent uh, residents in our community. IMPD also says there have been two incidents this year where suspects fired shots and officers did not return fire. That number is actually dramatically lower than the 10 cases last year. Finally, the officer involved in the overnight shooting was wearing a body-worn camera and is on routine administrative leave while the case is investigated. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. A Fox